a patient came to me with post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome after completing a four-week course of treatment for Lyme disease. Despite the treatment, she continued to suffer from headaches, fatigue, sleep disturbance, memory problems, and joint or muscle pain. She was diagnosed with PTLDS, and her condition was largely dismissed as a chronic immune response. Initially, she believed that PTLDS was purely an immune response. However, she didn't know that PTLDS could also be caused by a persistent tick-borne infection. After a year of living with PTLDS, she was treated for Lyme disease and a co-infection with Babesia using a combination of azithromycin and etovacone. This treatment resolved her PTLDS symptoms. The medical community has long debated the nature of chronic Lyme disease. In 2000, some doctors published guidelines that questioned the existence of chronic Lyme disease as a distinct condition, leading many to believe there was no evidence supporting the existence of chronic Lyme disease. In contrast, in 2004, I collaborated with colleagues in the International Lyme and Associated Diseases Society, ILADS, to publish guidelines affirming the existence of chronic Lyme disease. Despite this, the debate continues, with doctors divided over the existence and causes of chronic Lyme disease. Some doctors now acknowledge that Lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses can lead to chronic conditions, referring to it as post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome. However, they often describe PTLDS as resulting from an immunologic process without being informed of the possibility of a persistent infection. In my practice, I've seen patients with PTLDS who improved after being treated for persistent infections. This suggests that that in some cases, ongoing symptoms may be due to an unresolved tick-borne infection rather than solely an immune response. The case of my patient who found relief through additional treatment for persistent Lyme disease and a co-infection highlights the importance of considering persistent infections with PTLDS. While the medical community remains divided, it is crucial to explore all potential causes of chronic symptoms to provide the best care for patients.